What will SpaceX do when they get to Mars? Ever since we put the first man on the moon in 1969, humanity's gaze has shifted outwards, searching for the next great endeavor that could be undertaken. Elon Musk's space exploration company, SpaceX, plans to send a manned mission to Mars in 2024, with the hope of eventually establishing a permanent lunar colony and grounding humanity as an interplanetary species. This all sounds like science fiction, but it's quickly becoming reality. So, what will SpaceX do when they finally get to Mars? For years, mankind has been waiting for our chance to drive our influence deeper into the cosmos. Mars was an obvious candidate for the next great expansion into space due to the fact that it is one of our neighboring planets. Although crossing the 34 million miles or 54.6 million kilometers of empty space separating us from the Martian soil isn't exactly a walk in the park, the conditions on Mars are suitable for the building of a human settlement. With a force of gravity 38% that of Earth and an atmosphere composed primarily of carbon dioxide, plants would be able to grow while humans would be able to leap about and lift heavy objects. Sounds easy, right? Well, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves since there is a vast array of obstacles that need to be overcome before humans can travel to the red planet. The journey. Before we can even begin to consider what we'll do on Mars, we need to figure out how to get humans to the surface of the red planet. SpaceX has developed a plan to get humans to the surface of Mars and set up a small but temporary colony. SpaceX will first launch a Starship rocket into orbit around Earth. This process will use a tremendous amount of fuel, so a second rocket will refuel the Starship rocket so it is ready for its journey to Mars. Refueling the Starship rocket means that more cargo can be transported to Mars, which is desperately needed since the Red Planet isn't exactly teeming with building materials or things to eat. Once the refueling process has been completed, the Starship rocket will begin its seven-month-long journey around the Sun towards its destination. As the rocket approaches the surface of Mars at a mind-boggling speed of 7.5 kilometers per second, it will begin to decelerate due to air resistance from the Martian atmosphere. This will slow the rocket to a speed where it can be safely landed using retro propulsion or using thrust rockets during atmospheric entry to slow the rate of descent. The newest SpaceX rockets are designed to land upright, able to take off again with no change in configurations. Touchdown After a seven-month journey aboard SpaceX's reusable rocket Starship, the Red Planet's first visitors will make contact with the Martian soil where they will be met by chilly temperatures averaging minus 63 degrees Celsius, a woeful lack of oxygen, the occasional dust storm that can cover the entire planet for up to a month, and dangerous levels of solar radiation caused by the thin atmosphere encompassing the Red Planet. Not quite the holiday destination we were all hoping for. The crew aboard the Starship rocket will have lots of work to do if they hope to turn this cold planet into their new home. Shelter For humans to survive and thrive in this inhospitable environment, they will need to live inside shelters that are able to sustain temperatures far higher than the average surface temperature of minus 63 degrees Celsius. Elon Musk has suggested that the first humans on Mars would live in glass domes. These domes would need to have inbuilt heating which would ensure a constant temperature that humans would be able to survive and thrive in. The atmospheric pressure on Mars is less than 1% of the pressure on Earth, low enough for the gases dissolved in human blood to turn into bubbles, which would kill anyone hoping to explore the surface of the red planet. To ensure humans are able to survive, SpaceX will need to ensure that the glass domes used for human habitats have a much higher internal pressure than the Martian atmosphere and that this pressure is maintained at all times. Due to the thin atmosphere around Mars, high levels of ultraviolet radiation from the Sun constantly bombard the planet and would be a great threat to any future explorers. This radiation would substantially increase the risk of cancer and cause rapid sunburn to any humans scouring the Martian surface. It takes 15 centimeters of steel, one meter of concrete, or three meters of water to mitigate this threat a bit more involved than the classic hat and sunscreen needed for protection back here on Earth. To ensure the humans traveling to Mars are protected from this radiation, the domes would have to be built out of a material that is highly resistant to solar radiation, such as lead. 
Lead would be an impractical building material, since it is very heavy and would be difficult to transport from Earth, so the domes could be constructed underground instead. This would have the added bonus of insulating the domes from the cold Martian atmosphere, reducing the amount of equipment required to maintain the temperature of the domes. Although building human habitats underground would have numerous positive benefits, it is also much more difficult to do than building above-ground dwellings. For a short-term mission, such as the one being conducted in 2024, the astronauts could reside in an above-ground habitat where they will be exposed to solar radiation for a short period of time before travelling back to Earth. The atmosphere of Mars contains only 0.04% oxygen, which is not enough to sustain human life. NASA and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have already developed instruments that are able to convert carbon dioxide, which makes up 96% of the Martian atmosphere, into oxygen, which will allow for humans to produce enough oxygen to survive in their glass domes and spacesuits. A handy tool for any interplanetary mission. Once the travelers have finally finished constructing their new home, it will be time to start thinking about other important activities, such as eating and drinking feeling thirsty. Humans need a lot of water for almost all aspects of life, from growing food to washing ourselves. Water is also heavy, and transporting large quantities of it from Earth to Mars would not be realistic, since rockets cannot transport large quantities of goods. Luckily for any explorers travelling to Mars aboard SpaceX's Starship, there are expansive lakes of ice beneath the Martian Earth, meaning explorers would be able to mine for water once they reach the Red Planet there is a high possibility that this water would have high concentrations of salt, too high for human consumption. A simple distillation ought to remove the salt, leaving behind a refreshing beverage. The issue of food. Once the problem of water has been taken care of, the Martian explorers will need to turn their attention to food. The astronauts heading to Mars will only have a small amount of food aboard the Starship, which will serve as emergency rations. The majority of the food will need to be produced on Mars, which will be done using indoor greenhouses with regulated temperature and air pressure. The soil on Mars contains high concentrations of toxic perchlorate ions and will need to be chemically modified in order to support the growth of plants. The use of plants for food has the added bonus of increasing production of oxygen, since the plants will convert carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere into oxygen via photosynthesis. Getting home. SpaceX's manned mission to Mars in 2024 is a return trip, meaning the astronauts will return home on the same Starship rocket they travelled to the planet in. There is no way the rocket will be able to hold enough fuel to get from Earth to Mars and then back again, so the astronauts will need to manufacture rocket fuel from resources found on Mars. The rocket fuel used by the reusable Starship rocket consists of methane and liquid oxygen, both of which can be manufactured using carbon dioxide found in the Martian atmosphere and water found below the surface of the planet. Once enough of this fuel has been manufactured, the crew will be able to begin the long journey back home. What next? Elon Musk plans to eventually develop a self-sustaining permanent colony on Mars that is able to sustain human life for long periods of time. The hostile Martian atmosphere is a great barrier to this goal, but it could be made more suitable for life through the process of terraforming, which refers to the modifying of a planet or moon. Musk has proposed the use of nuclear weapons on the poles of the planet, which will melt the ice caps and warm the planet. This process may also result in a thicker atmosphere that is able to nurture life without the need of advanced protection. The colonization of Mars is occurring now and represents a great leap for our species towards becoming an interplanetary civilization where we have the opportunity to live among the stars.